At this point, I'm going to turn to my ranking member, Senator Graham. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Mr. Citron. You said t uh, we need to start a discussion. Uh, be honest with you, we've been having this discussion for a very long time. Uh, we need to get a result, not a discussion. Do you agree with that? Um, ranking member, I, I agree this is um, an issue that we've also been very focused on since we started our company in 2015, okay. but this is the first Are time. Are you familiar been... with the Earn It Act, authored um, by myself and Sarah Blumenthal? Uh, a little bit, yes. Okay, or do you support that? Um, we, um, like yes or no? Uh, we're, we're not prepared to support it today, but okay. we believe so that section- you support the CSAM Act? Um, the Stop CSAM Act, um, we are not prepared to support today, okay. but we do think there- Do you support are, the SHIELD Act? We, uh, we believe that the cyber tip line- Do you and, support it, yes or no? Uh, we, we believe that the cyber tip line and NECMEC- I'll tell you that to be no. The Project Safe Childhood Act, do you support it? Um, we, we believe that- I'll take that to be no. The Report Act, do you support it? Um, Ranking Member Graham, we very much look forward to having conversations you. with you and your team. We well, want to look be part forward of the to solution. passing the bill that will solve the problem. Do you support removing Section 230 liability protections for social media companies? Um, I believe that Section 230 um, is, is, needs to be updated. It's a very old law. Do you, re do you support repealing it so people can sue if they believe they're harmed? Um, I think that Section 230, as written, um, while it has many uh, downsides, has you, enabled innovation you, on the you, internet, which I think you, has largely thank been. Thank you very much. So here you are. You got. If you're waiting on these guys to solve the problem, we're going to die waiting. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Zuckerberg, Mr. Uh, try to be respectful here. Um, the representative from South Carolina, Mr. Guffey's son, uh, got caught up in a sex extortion ring in Nigeria using Instagram. And he was uh, shaken down, paid money. That wasn't enough, and he killed himself uh, using Instagram. What would you like to say to him? That's terrible. I mean, no one should have to go through something like that. You think he should be allowed to sue you? Um, I, I think that they can sue us. Well, I think you should, and then he can't. So uh, the bottom line here, folks, is that this committee is done with talking. We passed five bills unanimously that in their different ways, and look at who did this. Graham Blumenthal, Durbin Hawley, Klobuchar, Cornyn, Cornyn, Klobuchar, Blackburn, and Ossoff. I mean, we've found common ground here that just is astonishing. And we've had hearing after hearing, Mr. Chairman. And the bottom line is, I've come to conclude, uh, gentlemen, that you're not going to support any of this. Uh, Linda, uh, how do you say your last name? Yacarino. Uh, do you support the Earn It Act? Uh, we strongly support the collaboration to raise industry no, practices no, no, to no. Do you support prevent the Act? CSAM. Do you support the in, in English, do you support the Earn Act? Yes or no? We don't need double speed We look here. forward to supporting and continue our conversations. Okay, so I As think that is As you can see. No. But you have, but you have, you have the, taken. The reason the Earn Act is important, you can actually lose your liability protections when children are exploited and you didn't use best business practices. See, the Earn It Act means you have to earn liability protection. You're given it no matter what you do. So to the members of this committee, it is now time to make sure that the people who are holding up the signs can sue on behalf of their loved ones. Nothing will change until the courtroom door is open to victims of social media. Two billion dollars, Mr. Chu. How much, what percentage is that of what you made last year? Senator, it's a significant and increasing investment but as I a mean, private like company. Not you pay taxes. I mean, 2% is what percent of your revenue? Uh, Senator, we're not ready to share our financials in public. Well, I just think $2 billion sounds a lot unless you make $100 billion. So the point is, you know, when you tell us you're going to spend $2 billion, great. But how much do you make? You know, it's all about eyeballs. Well, our goal is to get eyeballs on you.
and it's just not about children. I mean, the damage being done. Do you, are you, do you realize, uh, Mr. Chu, that your TikTok representative in Israel uh, resigned yesterday? Yes, I am aware. Okay, and he said, I resigned from TikTok. We're living in a time in which our existence as Jews in Israel, and Israel is under attack and in danger. Uh, multiple screenshots taken from TikTok's internal employee chat pl platform known as Lark show how TikTok's trust and safety officers celebrate the barbaric acts of Hamas and other Iranian-backed terror groups, including the Houthis in Yemen. Senator, I need to make it very clear that pro-Hamas content and hate speech is why did not he, allowed why on did our he platform he within our company. Why did he resign? Why did he quit? S Senator, we also do not allow any do you know hate why to be he quit? Do you know why he quit? We do not allow this. We will investigate uh, such My claims. question is he quit. I'm sure he had a good job. He gave up a good job because he thinks your platform is being used to help people who want to destroy the Jewish state. And I'm not saying you want that. Mr. Zuckerberg, I'm not saying you want, as an individual, any of the harms. I am saying that the products you have created with all the upside have a dark side. Mr. Citron, I am tired of talking. I'm tired of having discussions. We all know the answer here. And here's the ultimate answer. Stand behind your product. Go to the American courtroom and defend your practices. Open up the courthouse door. Until you do that, nothing will change. Until these people can be sued for the damage they're doing, it is all talk. I'm a Republican who believes in free enterprise, but I also believe that every American who's been wronged has to have somebody to go to to complain. There's no commission to go to that can punish you. There's not one law in the book because you oppose everything we do and you can't be sued. That has to stop, folks. How do you expect the people in the audience to believe that we're going to help their families if we don't have some system or a combination of systems to hold these people accountable? Because for all the upside, the dark side is too great to live with. We do not need to live this way as Americans.